Hey y'all, this is A. Renee from Journal Jot and Jive. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all. So by the title, it should say something like creative journaling. It's gonna say creative journaling something. I don't know what the rest of it said, but you didn't click on the video now, right? So it's there. All right y'all, so hey, hey. All right, so what I wanted to do is journal from yesterday so i did not go on my journal and journal yesterday didn't do it at all um i had a little headache yesterday it just was not doing what i needed it to do so i was just around the house drinking water and sleeping and y'all probably now hear a noise which is the dryer cutting off singing its song so i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna come back so i'm gonna cut the dryer off all right one moment all right, I'm back after running up the stairs for that domestic housework duty. All right. Hmm, I thought you tried to catch my breath first, right? This is why I need to work out. Get a little bit of this weight up all for me. It need to be up all for me. Okay, y'all, so I have my journal here. And a couple of things I wanted to talk about when you get into creative journaling. Yes, it's fun, it's relaxing and it can be time consuming if you don't kind of have a little bit of an idea now you don't have to this is just my suggestion have some of the things you think you want to use right so i am using my sprocket we've already printed out the pictures that i want to use i have a paper pad some brush markers that i may use i have pens off to the left of me because i use a couple of different pens and that's about it for this spread. I may bring in some stickers on and off of the screen, but for now, that's what I have going on in my mind that I think I wanna use, but that can change. But for the most part, I do like to start with some kind of a base, like, hey, what colors do I wanna use? Am I gonna put a picture on there? And I do wanna put a picture. Me and my son spent most of the day yesterday for some of his appointments, dermatologist, wellness appointment for the year. So I was like, yeah, you're not going to school. We're just going to go ahead and do all of that. So I want to record that. Oh. And y'all, I finally, if some of y'all been following me, I think I've talked about this either on here or IG. I finally, finally, I would sing for y'all, but I can't. But I finally got my car washed. I feel like my car has not been washed in about two years during this pandemic. Mm hmm that sounds about accurate. So we went through one of those car wash things. I'm gonna insert a little bit of that video footage. We had a little conversation in the car. You ain't gonna hear too much of him in the background cause he's a teen. And uh, if y'all have any teenagers, you know, talking to them is like talking to a brick wall, buddy. So could you imagine owning one of these? How much money you would make? Mm -hmm. But either way it goes, we did that. So that was cool. We stopped at Quick Trip. So little small moments that I want to capture in here. All right, now I also printed out a picture of him. You know, that's all I got because he wasn't going to look at the camera. So there's that. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. The rest of this, y'all know how I do. I'm going to speed it up and then I may come back and explain what I did. I don't know if I'm gonna do the actual journal entry on screen or pretty much set up the page. It just depends on where I am and I don't necessarily want y'all to have all insight to my journal entry. But before we do that, let's talk about the candle of the day. So the candle of the day is Wake Yo mm -hmm, Up and it is by Dirty Wicks. Dirty Wicks is one of my favorite candle, new candle brands that is out. I will put the link in the description. And I think that's all that I have to tell y'all for right now. So let's go ahead and get into the video.
All right, y'all, so I am done setting up the page before I go in and write the actual journal entry. So I want to show you or talk about some of the things that I did. So early, before I started the video, I used my HP Sprocket to print out some photos on, uh, well, from my phone. I had some plants in my room, so I knew I wanted the journal entry to have some green in it. So I printed those photos from the plants that are in my room. I took a picture of my son when he was at the doctor uh, for his wellness checkup. So I wanted to put that in there to indicate that we spent the day together. And then there was this cute little piece of paper in my, um, what is that, recollections paper pad. And it had different definitions. So there was, what are the words? Mm -hmm. Chad, why don't you just pick this up so you can see? Girl. Adventure, awesome, collect, discover, epic, event, experience. So I thought that was really cool because there were some experiences we had when we went to the dermatologist before we went to his regular doctor. Um, listening to the doctor ask him what he wanted to do for a living and he's finally coming into a space where he's like, yeah, so if I don't make it with football, then I wanna do sports medicine with sports physical therapy. So I'm like, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Won't he do it that we have some kind of direction to go? All right, so if y'all have teenagers, some of you all may understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. So that was really cool to hear he said it in the past before, but for him to say it again, I was like, look at the Lord. So, you know, mommy over here was like, okay, let me look up some schools on my own, but I'm gonna still make him do the work as well. So, you know, that just gave me a little excitement because we in 10th grade. So next year, we rolling. We need all the scholarships, all the things. Where are you going? Mama got a plan. All right, so that was that. So I wanted to make sure he was seen in here. Enjoy every moment. I thought that was really nice considering we spent the day together. And then I just added a little bit of a little blurb here. I don't know what I'm going to put right there, but I wanted it to tie in with January. January, I went in and added some additional detailing to the faux lettering. All right. And so then we have yesterday's date because we know this entry is dealing with yesterday. All right. So I just wanted to show you how you can use some things around the house to create a creative spread. And then you go in and write what you want to write for the day. So remember, your entries don't have to be super, super long. You can add in a little flavor to your page. You know, just season your page a little bit. We're going to start seasoning. I think I like that. Season your journal pages. So if I say that on a couple of videos, I'm going to have y'all saying it in a minute. Add some seasoning to your page. All right, so let's look at the page before. So if y'all notice, I like greens. Part of this quarter, I feel like greens, mustards, and stuff like that, y'all will see. So this was the one before. We went in with more icons on this one. On this particular page, we stuck more with washi, paper pads, and then the pens that we had. All right, so if you have made it this far in the video, that means you like something, or you were simply watching me at work, and I am getting you through your day. So if that is the case, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, mm -hmm, that notification bell, and the like, because see, here on YouTube, they're like, oh, we need to know if they really like you, and we don't know if they like you if they don't like you. So go ahead again and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that like button, so every time I post, you are in the know. All right, write your heart out.